Hey guys, it's me, Nez. Look at my little friends over here. <laughs> They're a husband and wife. Maybe. Oh. One of them close, but look at that over there. More over here. Okay, I just wanted to welcome my new subscribers. I'm very happy and honored that you're here with me and you join me on this journey um, that I'm on. And um, I'm blessed that you were encouraged by the content I put out, you know, as inspired by the Lord and what he gives me to share. You know, I share, you know, I don't want to hold something to myself if it has encouraged me i know it's going to encourage you um and he was sharing with me something this morning um i was just thinking about my life in terms of the things i've gone through um hardships okay um the good the bad and the ugly um and he was letting me know that all those things were I, I passed through were meant to shape me into who I am today. And I should not be ashamed of those things. Um, like, and I know some people will say I'm stubborn, I'm headstrong, but God's like, there's nothing I can't handle. He can handle me. And he does. He does. Um, despite my failures, my faults, he leads me, you know, sometimes I get like, I doubt and say, Lord, <laughs> my life is looking like a wreck. What are you doing? Or, you know, am I like flailing like a fish out of water? Lord, am I on the right path? And, um, sometimes he, he it feels like he's silent, but then I have to go to the word and, and, and remind myself that he orders my steps, Right. He orders the steps of a righteous man, okay? Now, somebody who isn't in Christ, um, I would say when things um, that can shake you, like when storms come and they want to, they toss you about to and fro, that if, then, if you don't have security in Christ, those things can overwhelm you and throw you off course in your mind, um, emotionally, and that's part of the human experience. But what I'm what I'm trying to say is that you won't experience a peace that surpasses all understanding because you are not in Christ. You you are not in the you know you don't have the Prince of Peace within you, uh, and abiding in you, and you're not abiding in Him. So. That person, that individual who isn't a believer in Jesus Christ, they will be riddled with fear, right? But someone who's a believer, there is nothing to fear because God has you. You are in good hands. You are in the hands of the almighty God, okay? And he, he, he has your life in order. He has everything in control despite the roaring waves and the boisterous winds that come about, okay? And he was just reminding me that all these things that are, you know, pum are pummeling at me, these are things that refine me. Um, you know, these, things, these are things that develop my character, okay? And you... That thinks in terms of the, um, how do I say it? I wouldn't really know or learn certain lessons without going through some trials. Um, I wouldn't really know who I am or what I'm made of unless God allows me to go through certain um, tribulation. And I mean, the church, when it's persecuted, it grows. And for us, our growth process 
it, it skyrockets in the midst of hardship, in the midst of persecution, okay? We learn a lot more through trials. Unfortunately, that's part of the, uh, the our growth process, you know? Um, so we shouldn't fear it. And instead we should rejoice in the midst of trials because um, I know in, I think it's in Peter, it says um, um, where hope, oh, there's like a whole list. I'll, I'll, I'll post it up in, in the description box. Um, it, it just shows that this progression of this will produce this in your life. It's, you know, this pruning process is God just prunes us more so we can bear more fruit. And it may not be fruit that people are going to see. Um, it's some, it could be inward. It could be he's working on your character. Uh, he's making you to trust him more, to rely on him more, to show you things that maybe are idols in your life or, I don't know, it could be anything. Even in terms of relationship with people. Like, it's just testing you might just be going through a lot of testing before purpose. You know, it, it's not, it, when you go through testing, it's not purposeless. God has a reason for everything, okay? So I just want to encourage you guys that whoever is going through some tough times, um, don't fret. Um, all, is, all will be well. All will be well, okay? All things will work out for your good in Jesus' name. All right. I just wanted to drop that with y'all. I love you guys. Take care. Bye. Look at that. Um, it's cute. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs>